David Wade. And I'm Paula Evan in for Lisa Hughes. The prosecution walking jurors through Rachel Bond's troubled past, the birth of Bella, and then that terrible day that the little girl died. WBC's Christina Hager was inside the courtroom today. Christina? Paula, the man on trial, Michael McCarthy, shook his head from side to side at times as his former girlfriend testified against him. At other times, he simply looked down and took notes on the pad in front of him in contrast to Bond, who was sobbing on the witness stand. The mother of the little girl who went unidentified as baby doe for three months after her body washed ashore on a Winthrop beach breaks her silence. Ecstatic. Recalling how she felt after Bella Bond was born. Why? She was awesome. Rochelle Bond explained the deal that got her here. She pleaded guilty to accessory after murder and collecting welfare for Bella after the child was dead. In return, this testimony against her former boyfriend, Michael McCarthy, who she says she walked in on killing her daughter. He punched her in the stomach. Where was she? Laying on the bed. And uh, when you say laying on the bed, what part of her body was on the bed? On her front, her side, or her back? She was on her bed. She wasn't breathing. So I tried to do CPR. Her head was um, swollen and gray. She says he then threatened to kill her if she told anyone about it and injected her in the neck with heroin. And he said, no, she was, it was her time to die. She was a demon. Jurors now left to think about that dramatic testimony over the weekend. Rochelle Bond continues Monday morning at the Suffolk Superior Courthouse. Christina Hager, WBC News.